Module 14, Probability Basics, working with two or more events. Again, we're working with rolling two dice. And we want to know, what is the probability of getting a sum less than or equal to 7? We've looked at the probability of getting a sum of greater than 7, now less than or equal to 7. So we're going to include 7 as a possibility. Had to fudge that a little bit, but here we have a 7. 4 and a 3 is a 7. 4 and a 2 is less than or equal to 7. So that's in. 6 and 5, that's not in. And when I say in or not in, what I'm talking about is winning. Because we all, this is all the, derived from games of chance, gambling games. So I want to know, what is the probability of winning? If I say, hey, I'll give you a buck if you roll something less than or equal to 7. We always start off with a sample space. Probability, sorry, size of the sample space equals 36. And now we want to know how big is the set, how many elements are in the set of desired outcomes. Well, seven, sixes, fives, fours, threes, two. So we'll start with a 2. There's one way of getting a 2, two ways of getting a 3, three ways of getting a 4, four ways of getting a 5, five ways of getting a 6, and six ways of getting a 7. Do we include the 7? Yes, because it's less than or equal to. Add these up. We have 10 here. 5 plus 3 plus 2 is 20. 21. And probability that the sum is less than or equal to 7 equals 21 over 36, which as you saw earlier, is 7 out of 12, just about 50%.